Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, uh, my students. How are you? Uh, hope that you will find this lecture also. Uh, you will find this uh, lecture in best of your health and best of your studies. Uh, so we'll be uh, solving question number four and question number five of uh, exercise two point three of this book. Okay. Now straight away. Uh, to question number four and question number four says that simplify as far as possible now the question number one uh, question number four part one is 8y minus 4 8y minus 4 and what does it says next 6y and minus 4 again now this is the complete expression to which we have to simplify as far as possible now you see the two things i told you about the like terms so what are the like terms number one you go for the variable okay it is past y is the variable then for the index okay it is again passed so it has passed two exams it has passed two conditions so we can proceed now and the two constants that can always be like terms so go for the coefficients and the operand sign that is minus so 8 minus 6 is 2 8 minus 6 is 2 so start writing if that implies by 8 minus 6 y and you can also yes number one I may tell you that you can also write it in this form also it is better to write it in this form so now you can See that it is like this. So you, you notice that uh, you noticed my students that how it has been simplified as far as possible. Now I still have one step, and that is take a common to y minus 4 so in my opinion this is the answer because it has said that as far as possible but to tell you that your answer in your book is this one but this is also very good this is more valid I think so question number this was part A, part B, and part B is uh, x square minus x square minus 4x plus 3x square and minus x. Now, dear students, again, what we'll do, we'll bring this expression in descending order i hope you must know what is ascending order and what is descending order so write 3x square then x square then 4x and then x now this is the right order in which we have to write The same expression in descending order you see that this is x index is 2 power is 2 this is 2 uh, x and power is 2 but the variable the coefficient over here is greater so we wrote it at the first time then 1 x square 
and then 4x with this x with the single power and 4 as a quantity and x so now it is very easy to solve it now 3 plus 1 you can check at any time that whether or not the terms are like no, it is x, it is x, power is square, power is square, so these are like terms, 4x square. Now, again, variable is same over here, power is same, so you can also add this like this. Again, I will tell, say you, now the answer is okay till here but to make it more precise I can do it up to here you see my dear students that how we uh, turn this expression into descending order and then we solved it and then we uh, brought a common over here and the final answer the book has written this answer question number four part c now you will see in part c that there are two different variables and that is 5x plus y plus 2x plus 3y So oh, it is very easy again, there is nothing to be confused in this, go for the like variables first and start from the x because x comes first in alphabet, 5x plus 2x then 3y plus y, now this is the proper arrangement of this expression well you can do it in direct from here there is no limitation that you cannot do it yes you can do it from direct from here but it is easy to bring all the like terms together and in the descending order then you do it that will be much more better to be solved Again, I tell you that there is no limitation that you have to do it in this way. Now, the next and the final step is 7x and 4y. You see, it from this you can pick more easily. There, may be a chance of uh, to be mistaken over here but from here you can pick all the things very easily g 4x y z 4x y z minus 3 x y now you see that we are coming up some more complex situations now 2xz minus xyz well students tip of the day and that is that in your book Z is written in this form. But I have written it in this form. There is a reason behind. Sometimes, what does the student do? That they do it like this. This is also Z. Now, it is bringing some confusion with this 
coefficient or whatsoever it is. So, to minimize that confusion, I have written this z over here. I have changed the font. It is not necessary that you also do it like this. Now go for the like terms. Now x, y, z is one term. x, y, z. No x, y, z. No x, y, z. Here we have one x, y, z. So according to me, you can write it in this way. x, y, z minus x, y, z. And now the next the next is minus 3xy. Now these are all single terms. You see, this is xy and this is xz. There is no match. But here we are getting some match over here. So 4 minus 1 is 3xyz. And the rest of the terms will be written as it is. Last part from this question that is i and that is 8x minus 4 minus 2x plus 3x here. So I know what you know now what I am going to do is I will bring this first then I will write this term this is positive this is negative this is negative now this is the proper order of writing this term in descending Solve it. Now it is all alone. Three x square plus six x minus four. So this is complete now. The answer is this. Now we will proceed to the final question of this session and that is 5. I think that is much more important now. Question number 5. Part A. Now for each part a shape is given. Uh, triangle, rectangle, uh, hexagon, parallelogram and a trapezium. Now we start from a part A and that is square. And one side is given also and that is 2x. Now which, uh, now what we are uh, asked is write an expression for the perimeter. P. Now we have to write the expression for the perimeter P, perimeter P and the rest of is for the each of the following shapes and then simplify it to give the P in simplest possible terms. Now first of all we have to write the perimeter in algebraic term or algebraic expression then we have to simplify it to the simplest form to the simplest form now i have told you about the perimeter to recap if you are standing at point a now this is point a over here you travel from here then to here then here and come back now this is what you have traveled is perimeter now for the sphere, I have told you that the sphere, the, the perimeter of the sphere is 
if this is side s if this is side s now the perimeter is 4s this is for the square only 4s is for the square shape only now the side is given over here since all the sides are equal all the sides are equal therefore the perimeter will come up as p will become as 4 multiplied by 2x now it will become 8x now this is the perimeter of this scale very simple part b now there is a rectangle over here and it measures x at one side and x plus 7 at the longer side now for this we can say it as breadth and this is called as length i already told you what is the perimeter of rectangle in my sum lecture the perimeter of the rectangle rectangle is there are two axes over here now one axis here and one axis at the opposite end of, of, of this side opposite to this side is also equal to this and the length is also equal to the length of the so there are two breadths two lengths so the perimeter is 2 l plus b now here l stands for length breadth stands for b we manipulate <coughs> each of the figure right here x plus 7 plus x so what would it become 2 and 1 plus 1 2 plus 7 now it will become here you can even write it in this form or you can just simplify it up to the last and this will become as 40. The next shape is, is a triangle. Part C. No. 2x plus 1. Side is. 2x plus 1. Now there is some hint given in this also and that is that this line and this line and this line. These small lines these were also here as well. If it was not written as x now there are two and there are two that means that this uh, side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side now you see that all sides are equal over here because one dash is crossing each side now it means that it is an equilateral triangle because there is only one triangle whose sides are equal and that is equilateral triangle it means that each of its side is 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 now it is question number c and it is equilateral triangle equilateral triangle so the formula is go from here to here here to here and come back it means that we have three stops over here. 
वन टू एंड थ्री सो पेरीमीटर विल बिकम एस पी इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स प्लस वन सो टू एक्स प्लस वन टू एक्स प्लस वन सो इट विल बिकम सिक्स एक्स प्लस थ्री will be the answer of this uh, triangle of perimeter perimeter of this triangle is 6x plus 3 now there is another triangle in part d i think we i have to solve each and every part in this question and now this is a right angle triangle but it is far more easy to call it as right angle triangle because this is this angle is 90 degree so the dimensions are given x 2x plus 4 and 2x okay Let me solve it now. P is equal to x plus two x plus two x plus four. Now this is the right side, right angled side, and this is the base. This is the perpendicular. This is the perpendicular. This is the base, and this is the hypotenuse. This whole is the hypotenuse. We are going to add all the quantities over. Here. So, what is the outcome? X one two three four five five x plus four. Now five x plus four is the answer. Part E. Now hexagon is given, and for a regular hexagon, each side is equal also. So. It is given two y minus one, and the hint that one dash is crossing each side. So this line, which is cutting the this diagram at each side, that means that each side is equal. If this is two y minus one, all are two y minus one. and you know hexagon means a figure with six sides now this is a regular hexagon so hexagon has six sides with equal sides so what we do is we simply do 6 2y minus 1 or you can do it so this is hexagon you can also add it like this plus 2y minus 1 again plus 2y minus 1 again 2y minus 1 and up to 6 times you can 1 2 3 4 two y and again so it is much more simpler to do it like this multiply it will becomes 12y 12y minus 6 the p will become 12y minus 6 now we have come up with a parallelogram and parallelogram is a figure of pressing a rectangular to one side you just press a rectangular to one side it will become a parallelogram now like a rectangular it has two sides equal the opposite sides are equal but it is not necessary that a parallelogram 
must have a 90 degree angles. Now, these are some uh, qualities of this. Now, this, this diagonal is not equal to this diagonal. This diagonal is not equal to this diagonal. This is a parallel term. But you see that in a parallel, now this is also parallelogram. But this is one kind of parallelogram. Now this diagonal is equal to this diagonal. So it means that every rectangular is a parallelogram and every parallelogram is not a rectangular. So, the dimensions are given here are y plus 7, y plus 7 and four y square, four y square and two lines over here. You see that one line at the opposite end, two lines at this length of one side. So again, it is very easy. Just like uh, it will be solved, just like a rectangular. Plane. So there are two lengths and two breadths. Two lengths. Now this is length. This is length over here. And this is breadth over here. Okay. So there are two lengths and two breadths. So what we do is divide. So my dear students, you see that four y square lengths, four y square, and the breadths y plus 7 and it is being multiplied with 2. Now solve it. Now you see that this is y square, this is y and this is a constant. Now this is a quadratic equation. I will tell you what is a quadratic equation but not now. But for now you just Remember that these are not the like terms. All the three are not the like terms. So, you can just simply multiply this two with all these terms. Now, it will become 8y square plus 2y plus 14. Or you can let it write as it is. Part G is just like part A. I am going to skip this. And I am going to proceed to the last part and that is H. It is an irregular trapezium. Now this is a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral means a figure with four sides. A figure with, now this is a figure with four sides and none of the side is equal. Now the dimensions are given 2x 2x plus 1 for one side 4x and 9x for the other sides and for here 3x minus 2 So it is very simple, don't be confused that what is all this stuff. Now it is part H, part lateral and this is so, what we will do is we add up all the sides. We will add up all the sides. Now, starting from here, 9x plus 2x plus 1, you see that this is one side, 
this is this one side 4x this is this one side and plus 3x minus 2 and this is the last side okay now as i told you just bring them in order so that it will become easier bring like terms together 9x plus 4x plus 3x plus 2x plus 1 and minus 2 9 plus 4 13 13 plus 3 16 16 plus 2 18x 18x now this is minus 2 and this is plus 1 so it will become minus 1 so this is the whole answer for this quadrilateral the perimeter the perimeter is if I write P over here and this is perimeter x 18 x minus 1. So dear students this was the last question of this exercise and we'll end up with this uh, uh, last question. We'll be uh, proceeding towards uh, in multiplying and dividing the, the expressions in our next lecture. So till then it's time to say you goodbye. Allah Hafiz.